Hi. Someone asked me recently on LinkedIn um, something to the, to the avail of what would be the right team model for machine learning. And my answer is, I don't know. But um, I can share what I've seen and what I think um, might need to, to be uh, an evolution of what most organizations are doing. Um, so let's talk about what I've seen most organizations do is to sort of consider machine learning teams as a complicated subsystem team. Um, and so they do all the, the model uh, creation, training, um, and then when the model's ready, uh, they hand this over to um, a stream aligned team or perhaps to even to an operations team to run. it. Um, some of the challenges here with this approach include that this team might become a, uh, quickly a bottleneck, right? Uh, if many other teams or um, they get many requests for models that they should create um, or evolve, then um, you know, they might get to a situation where they don't have enough capacity very quickly. Um, also, in terms of feedback, the feedback loop might be um, much slower than we would like for modern um, software delivery. Uh, because if this model is then handed over to another team to, to run, um, and that team then gets the feedback, and when there's a problem, they need to go back to the uh, complicated subsystem team uh, for them to analyze and perhaps make some changes. Uh, then you know the, that whole loop uh, is is likely much longer in the order of of weeks versus kind of days if this could be all within the same team scope. And another common problem uh, in in organizations with this sort of approach is that sometimes uh, the machine learning uh, team uh, or teams lack kind of uh, understanding of modern software engineering practices. Um, not because you know they're not interested, uh, but because they don't have the the right background, they haven't been exposed to those practices. So I'm talking about obviously you know um, version control, continuous integration, um, having proper uh, testing approaches, automation, making tests uh, maintainable, etc. Um, considering performance, how do we uh, um, measure and, and improve performance, etc. So, um, for this current scenario where most machine learning teams are, are kind of complicated subsystem, um, for that to be sustainable in the long run, I would expect a few things in place. So, the first one is to have a modern platform that actually helps uh, scale those models at runtime um, and also kind of forces some common ways in which the models are delivered, are created and, and um, delivered into a kind of a runtime um, platform. I would expect secondly, an enabling team around modern software engineering practices that would be helping the machine learning teams kind of adopt the right practices and, and stop kind of, um, kind of ad hoc approaches to how they uh, maintain, how they version, how they um, test their, their models and these sort of things. Um, so inc increasing the performance effectively of those machine learning teams so that they're not wasting time with this kind of things that we already know how to do um, properly and they might not just because they haven't been exposed to them. So the enabling team would help. And number three, I would expect this machine learning team to have very good product management uh, inside the team, whether that's kind of, a, you know, overall team capability or there's a product owner or, you know, someone um, or, or several people in the team with the skills to do product management um, adequately because they have to really understand the needs of the teams that are asking them to create these models, uh, prioritize them correctly, and then support them correctly over time, right? So we cannot forget the need to be able to support, even if not at runtime, but support the evolution of the models. And so, um, that's what I would expect to, to have the current approach of machine learning teams as complicated subsystem teams um, to, to make that sustainable. Um, then the next question is, uh, or follow-up question is, is there a better model? Um, I would, if we think about machine learning as a capability or you know, kind of skill, obviously a broad skill uh, that uh, the streamlined teams need, um, 
let's say they need to understand it. They don't need to become masters uh, at it, but they need to understand machine learning as a capability. Um, in that case, what could we do? Well, we could set up some um, machine learning related platform services, right? Not just the ones I mentioned earlier to be able to scale and deploy um, at scale, but um, also, so the operation side, if you like, of the models, but also could we have some platform services that help us collect and prepare data, as well as train and test the models. Um, obviously you would need people who are machine learning experts to be involved in and drive these platform services, right? So they would be helping as subject matter experts to um, create the right platform service that would help the streamline teams do some of this stuff uh, with the right level of abstraction so that, you know, they don't need to know all the details, but they need to, to but they would be able to consume these platform services uh, to create the models. Um, and so they would move away from that previous approach where it's kind of a, a dependency on a complicated subsystem team that creates the models. And now they would be able to do this on a more um, self-sufficient way. But of course, this, they would also need a lot of help to understand, um, you know, hopefully from an enabling team to help the streamline teams understand how do we define the objectives for the model? How does the, do these models run? How do, how do they predict? And critically being able to then take the feedback from the running systems, the running models, um, and get that feedback into the, the next versions of the service um, that they're, they're creating. An interesting aspect here, if you think about it, and kind of a plus, is that the streamlined teams should, they're not incentivized to run models, right? They're incentivized, hopefully, to reach some business outcomes that are important. And so the streamlined team has less of a kind of, has less of a stake, if you like, in the, in the models themselves. Um, let's say, for example, we have a model that's trying to predict what would be uh, the best holiday destination to suggest to a visitor to our booking, you know, travel booking website. Um, and so we might have a complicated model, takes a lot of um, things into account uh, to generate this, this ideal destination. And we thought this would help us, you know, get more engagement, get more bookings, and turns out, you know, it didn't really move the needle. And if we just suggest for that specific person uh, or visitor, we suggest a uh, past destination that they booked, which they rated highly, you know, the, the high, highest rated um, past destination. We just suggest that that's much faster and turns out that, you know, that actually brings in more bookings than our um, machine learning model, for example. Then the streamline team should make this decision to swap the model for this uh, very simple execution without any um, questions, right? It's just what makes sense. While if in the first approach, if we have the, the machine learning teams as complicated subsystem, um, at, you know, it's no fault of the teams themselves, but they will be uh, incentivized to keep the models and create more models, right? That's what they're there to do. That's what their mission uh, looks like as a machine learning complicated subsystem. And so, perhaps the incentives are not the most aligned to the business outcome needs. Um, again, by no fault of, of, of the teams themselves, but just the way that we set them up um, promotes that you know, they're focusing on um, keeping and creating more models. Well, this other approach that I talked about uh, might help make better business decisions around when should we use models or not, or um, you know, anything um, to that effect. Thank you.